Hey folks, welcome back to the mountain. I'm Tony from Gagnon's Mountain Homestead. Last video you saw me moving all these slabs. Well now, we got this big pile of slabs. And we're going to cut them up because we don't waste anything up here on the mountain. So, we got to build a rack to put them in to cut them up. Just makes it a lot easier than taking the chainsaw and going to town at them. So, we're going to get started on that. First thing we gotta do is come out here to the lumber yard and get some lumber to build it out of. So we're gonna use some two by sixes. Grab a couple one bys. And I'll grab a couple two by threes from over here. I think we'll grab a couple more of them one bys. I think we're going to need them. And we'll bring all these up by the garage and get started. There we go folks, we got our wood up here, we're going to set up our tools, we're going to get started, we're going to get this rack built so we can get some of that, some of those slabs cut up into easy to manage pieces for the fire pit. So once again folks, rough cut, I got to square up both ends. So let's go ahead and square this end up. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Six feet.
two by sixes are cut out and I shaped them into these X's here. Now I'm going to put these together. There's four of them. I'm going to put them together. Uh, they'll be 80 inches end to end and I'm going to put one, then another one at 16, another one 32 from that and then one at the end. And that way I'll be able to put my slabs in there and cut them all to 16. You'll see as I go. So it's going to be 80 inches. So next I'm going to cut a couple I got my two by fours and I got a couple um, one bys. I'm going to cut all those to 80 inches now. All right, now I'm going to take these and I'm going to mark them where my boards are going to go, where those X's are going to go on them. So the first one's going to go at 16. Then we're going to go to 32 from there is going to be 48. And then 32 from there will be the 80 at the end. So that's it. That's as easy as it is. So we're going to go ahead and mark both of these. Okay. Alright, this doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be, you know, somewhat straight. There we go. Make sure we're still on our line. We are. Okay, now we can stand this up. There. So now let's put two more X's in. All right. Right there, a square. And the final X will go on the end. Now we'll put the other one on the other side. All right, she had a little bit of weight to her now.
All right, and that is it. That's our rack. The only thing I also want to do, I want to shim it up a little bit. Down here, so this doesn't spread out. So I just want this to be shored up a little bit. So I'm going to put a piece of wood across here. But of course, I really can't do that like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it across one side and butt up against the other. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to make an angle cut like this. And then I'll butt up against there. Just like that. So what I could do is just take the scrap and screw it across the back like so, and that'll hold it together. Let's just do that. Make it that much heavier. All right, so there's our slab rack. As you can see, pretty nifty little design there it's not mine I found it on the internet and I copied it so what we're gonna do is as our slabs come off the mill we can just throw them in there and then I can take my chainsaw and cut them to lengths I need to burn into the fire pit and that's it folks so let's bring it out back and see how it works so all we do is as the slabs come off the mill Toss them in the rack. May have to cut that down a little shorter. Some of these are quite heavy. And we're gonna put them over there. Well, we can just slide them up. Yes. We'll do that with them.
to the fire pit up in Sweden. So fill it up, bring it over to the fire pit, and uh, we can take care of that stack of slabs back there. I like it. Good job. All right, folks, so that's going to do it for today. You can see we got the slab rack there. It works pretty good. So we can use that from now on as we're milling. We can just toss the slabs right in there, cut them up as we go, so we don't wind up with a big pile of slabs like back there. It's just, it's a pain to take care of that big slab. With a grapple, it'll make everything a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and use that from now on when we're milling. So that's going to do it from the mountain for today, folks. You know what to do. Like our videos. Subscribe to our channel. Share them. Tell people about us. And as always, folks, God bless.